our debt restructuring program has collapsed. But President Akai and the UPND government do not tell you that. They will lie to the people of Zambia. The only people they respect is BBC. You're about to see a video in which President Akai and has confessed and revealed to BBC that our debt restructuring program has collapsed. It has stalled, it's not moving, and it has fallen off. Actually, other media outlets have indicated that our debt structuring process has to start afresh. The IMF is now even laughing at us as a bad example of debt restructuring. But President Akai Nechilema, on two occasions, President Akai Nechilema had decided to lie to Zambians. First, it was on the 24th of June, 2023. He said he has restructured debt and he called Zambians to celebrate. We questioned that because we knew there was no truth. Unfortunately, it was proved that there was no debt restructuring. As if that's not enough, just last month, February 2024, at Inchuara ceremony, there in Chibata, President Akai Nechilema again said he has concluded debt restructuring. India and China, who are the remaining components, have now signed that they ask people to celebrate. It is very unfortunate. You are about to see in this video what I'm talking about, that it has all been lies. This is unfair. Listen to this video and see the deception that this government has been peddling, which unfortunately is destabilizing Zambians. It is making them discouraged. It is also making us lose integrity in the global stage where people are expecting a president to be speaking the truth. Listen to this video and listen for yourselves. During the ceremony, President Ichirema announced a new development in the debt restructuring process. China and India have signed, and I'm very pleased to indicate that, that these two countries have signed on the debt restructuring to dismantle the debt mountain that we inherited. I think we did our part as a country in terms of meeting our obligations, but these delays are beginning to negate the gains that we already made as a country in our economic and social restructuring process. And I think it's an indictment not just on Zambia and other data countries, but also on the global institutional framework, institutional arrangements, such as one we are talking about, the G20. This thing doesn't work, doesn't deliver on time. It's an indictment on the global system as well. You have seen for yourselves, President Naka and the new Don government have to be held accountable. And as economic freedom fighters, we are demanding that first and foremost, they apologize to Zambians for lying. Number two, we are asking this government to desist. Enough is enough. People need to be respected. You we can't continue lying to people. We have had problems with debt restructuring. Let the people know. Let the people advise you. Instead of fabricating propaganda, misleading the nation, we are losing integrity in the global world. And this is going to hit our country in the long run. To develop a country, we need integrity. And unfortunately, on that score, President Akai and this UPND government has failed. As economic freedom fighters, we are telling you, Zambians, when we get into power will give you accurate proper information you need information to develop but this government does not believe in respecting zambia does not believe in showing integrity they will ride on propaganda mislead people and this should not be tolerated whatever want to go our feet will take us there thank you